All right, folks, I formatted this a little bit differently so that you can see things. Um, one of the things I want to do now is I'm actually going to color things a little bit so you guys can actually see what we're doing. So I'm going to highlight this top square. I'm going to right click, format self, and where it says uh, patterns, I'm actually going to click a nice light peach color so that you can see what that is. Okay, so this is experiment one is everything that's from peach color. The second group. I'm going to highlight, right click, format cells, and I'm going to make it a nice yellow so you can tell what's what. Okay, so this first one, column C, is the total of the vinegar and the flask in experiment one. That was, remember, that was the experiment we did. We just put vinegar in the flask, we weighed the flask and the vinegar together. Then we threw in baking soda, which is column, column D. We, we weighed that, and then we took the total weight after the reaction, which was this. Now, next step. All right, next thing we're going to do is the second reaction was the vinegar in the flask, the weight of the baking soda in the blue, and then the total weight of the whole thing. So in order to give ourselves a place to actually do some work, what I would like to do is I'm actually going to insert a space here. So I'm going to right click where the F is, and then I, I'm sorry, I click on the F, the, the F at the top of the column. I go right click, I go insert, and that gives me a nice blank column where I can do some work. And then J, I'm going to do the same thing here. So what's going to be in this column? Well, in this column, I'm going to write expected weight. Now, the expected weight would be, well, what would I expect to get if I just added the weight of the baking soda and the weight of the vinegar? Okay. As a matter of fact, I might put um, in this one, expected weight, space, column, C. Okay, um, s column C and D. Because that's what we're adding together. We're adding these two columns together. Because what we're going to want to do is eventually we're going to want to compare what we actually got with what we expected. Okay, so now let's try this. Okay. What I'm going to do is I want to add these two things together. So I'm just going to click on this column, this, this space here, and I can say, well, what I want to have happen, I'm going to press in equals, and then I'm going to click on this cell right here, which is C2, and then I'm going to go shift and plus, or I could use a keypad and do plus, this column, and hit enter. Now you notice that that says that's 108.7. All right, so clearly this person here made a mistake. Okay, when they did this, because clearly that should not have weighed that much, okay, after the reaction. All right, so now let's try the next one. Now, what we could do if we really wanted to be really, really good, we could have put, we could type in equals this cell plus this cell, and that gives us the total amount. But the, the thing is, what we don't want to do is, let's be lazy, let's be smart, and let's be lazy, and instead of, like, doing the same formula over and over again, I'm going to drag this down. Now, the way to do that is if you hold your mouse right over the center, it turns into a big block white X. If you go down to the lower left-hand corner, it will turn from a white X to, I'm sorry, actually a white cross to a black cross. When it turns to a black cross, you're just going to click and you're going to drag down. And what that does is that does a relative drag fill. What that's going to do is that is all the way down the column, it's going to do the same um, math. Okay, so let's just watch what happens, okay? Now, you notice what happens if I click on this cell. If I look up here, you notice up here, it says, okay, well, in this cell, you must have wanted C3 plus D3. In the next cell, whoops, edit undo. All right, and if I double click on here, no, it's not doing it. Ah! I hate when I make mistakes. Edit undo, edit, okay. I'm going to just drag it down again because I made some escape. I'm going to just drag that down again because I screwed it up, okay? So there we go. All right, we did it all over again, and we'll see how we come up with. All right, now, if you take a look at what happens is, in the first column, it's C3 plus D3. I go down to the next one, C4 plus D4, next one. All right, so now the question is, how does this compare? Well, if you take a look at actually here, this one here, this first one, is obviously wrong. The second one, what you would have expected if you mix baking soda and vinegar together, if you just add the weights, is 126. The actual weight gain 
was actually less. It was 124.9. This one here, it actually went up a little bit more. This one here went up a little bit. The expected weight. In each one of these, you notice the actual weight is a little bit more. The expected weight, or the weight you would have gotten if you just added the two, is actually a little bit more than the weight you actually got. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do is I'm going to ask you guys to do this data, and then you're going to use this data in your report. All right, so that's step one. Step two, all right, in this one here, in this experiment, we did it, but we trapped all the gas that was coming off. So let's see what happens now. All right, and again, this is going to be the expected weight. If you add... In this case, column G and H. In other words, if you add the weight of the balloon and the baking soda, the vinegar. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a formula. All right. In this column, and what we want to do is we want to weight, add the weight that we measured of the formula vinegar in the flask and the weight of the vinegar at the, at the uh, baking soda in the balloon. So let's just try that. Type in the equals. I click on this cell, which happens to be G2, and then I type plus, and I click on this cell, and I hit enter. All right, and we're going to drag this all the way down. All right, so you notice again, if I put the mouse over the center of the cell, you notice there's a white cross. If I drag over the corner, it turns into a black cross. I'm going to drag that black cross all the way down, and boom. Now, what you should notice, this is beautiful. Each one of these, the expected weight is almost exactly the same as the actual weight. There's a little bit of variance. Some there's a little bit more variance than others. But for the most part, the weight you expect to get is very, very close. This one here, perfect. This one here, this one is off significantly. This one here, that one's off by a little bit. This one here, off by a little bit. This one's almost perfect. This one's almost perfect. That one's off by a lot. A little, a little bit of a mistake there, obviously. This one here, off by quite a bit. All right. So in other words, when you take a look at this, you're going to find the, the difference between the weight that you get if you just add everything plus the weight you actually measured. All right. So now I'm going to talk about how we're going to be functioning with this data, what we're going to do with this data. But right now, we're going to take a break.